Today I'm going to show you exactly how much cash flow option traders can make. I'm going to do this by sharing with you how much we pocketed last month in March from selling put and covered call options as well as collecting a few dividends. I'll also talk through three of my favorite option trades from last month, one of which was a covered call option trade and the other two were trades in which we sold put options. This will show you how you can use options to generate awesome cash flow and returns every month in your account. Hello everyone and welcome back to my life of learning. My name is Randy Perez. Please know that I am not a financial advisor and this video is not meant to be investment advice of any sort. I am, however, a 22 plus year stock and option trader as well as real estate investor. Before we get started, I just ask one thing of you. Please hit the like button to support this channel. I'm about to give you some really awesome information that I know you're going to find great benefit in. So if you appreciate the kind of material I provide for in this channel, please support it by hitting the like button. Thank you for that. Let's get started. Here you see a list of every option trade we did last month in March. The red boxes are the trades we're going to talk about in this video. We will discuss a naked short put option trade that we did in Cogent Communications, ticker symbol CCOI, as well as a covered call trade we did in Cyrus One, ticker symbol CONE. Then I'll talk through another naked short put option trade we did in Walgreens, ticker symbol WBA. At the bottom in the blue box, you see that as a result of selling options, we pocketed $18,466. In the orange box, you see the trading commission cost us $74.64. In the green box at the bottom left, you see that we pocketed $621.35 in dividends from ExxonMobil, Realty Income, Kraft Heinz, and BDX. In all, we pocketed $19,012 from selling put and covered call options as well as collecting some dividends. If you annualize that return, it equates to a 31.9% annualized non-leveraged cash on cash return. If you calculate the return on the $85,833 margin requirement, it equates to a 261% annualized return on margin. The first trade I want to talk through is in Walgreens, ticker symbol WBA. Here's what the daily and weekly chart of Walgreens looked like on the day we entered the trade. Let me talk you through why we felt like this was a high probability trade. As you see on the left chart, the daily chart, where the white arrow is, Walgreens had recently come off the high of around 52 and a half per share. It was now approaching the green 50 moving average, and just below that was the red 200 moving average, which is right below $45 per share. If you look over at the weekly chart, that same area, $45 per share, is where the green 50 moving average was at. So we expected that possibly that green 50 moving average on the daily chart, which is right around $47, could potentially serve as support. But if not, we felt pretty confident that we would find support around the red 200 moving average on the daily chart and the green 50 moving average on the weekly chart, which are both right around $45. Also notice that now I have drawn a couple of arrows on each of the charts that Walgreens have begun a new upward trend. The waves are making progressively higher high points as well as higher low points. If that terminology is something new to you, then in the description below, I'll leave a link to a video in which I talk you through in a simple and clear way a few of the technical indicators we use to make option trading decisions. That video is entitled, How to Trade Using Technical Analysis. If you'd like to check it out after this video is finished. Over on the weekly chart, where the yellow arrows are, you see that the same thing was going on. This little trading channel was serving as support and resistance for Walgreens. Whenever the stock would come down to where the bottom yellow arrow is, it would change direction and head back up. And then when it reached the area where the top yellow arrow is, it would change direction and head back down. That's called a trading channel, and Walgreens appeared to be in a generally upward trending trading channel. It has now come back down towards the bottom area of the daily and weekly chart, as well as that support that I mentioned earlier around 47, or at worst $45 per share. So we felt comfortable selling a strike price at what we felt would be support if it kept coming down at $45. Here's the trade we did. On March 5th, we sold to open five contracts of the $45 April 16th put options. For that, we received $1.64 per share. Well, what happened? Walgreens did exactly what we thought it would do. It took off, and 11 days later on March 16th, it showed its first sign of weakness with a red slightly down day up top and at the bottom in the volume section. You see that it was the first red down day as well since we entered that position. We realized that Walgreens was back at the top of its trading channel, so we bought the April 16th $45 put options back for 15 cents per share. There just wasn't enough return left in the option to let it sit out there for another four weeks, and Walgreens is starting to show some weakness, so we just closed this position out early. In all, we needed $1.49 per share for the 11 days we were in this trade. If we annualize that return, 
It equates to 110% non-leveraged annualized cash on cash return. If you're curious what the return on margin was, as you see here, it equates to a 1,272% annualized return on the required margin of $1,943. The lesson we can learn from this trade is the importance of becoming familiar with how technical analysis works. I know there are some traders out there that have no faith in technical analysis and it doesn't work 100% of the time. But technical analysis is a tool that I use on 100% of my trades. And on a very high percentage of those trades, it helps us make better, safer, and more profitable option and stock trades. Once you get to know how technical analysis works, when you see that the technical analysis is telling you that the momentum of a stock that has gone your way is fading, then it's most likely time to close the position out and put that money back to work in a brand new position. By the way, if that was really useful, what I just share with you, then I would love it if you just give this video a like. Just bump the like button. And thank you very much for doing that. The second trade I want to share with you from last month shows the power of selling covered call options and stocks that have been assigned to you because the puts you've been selling or because you bought the shares outright. Here are the details of this covered call position and the trade that we did. Here you see the covered call position we own in Cyrus One, ticker symbol Cone. Cone is a data center real estate company that we've been selling put options in since June of last year. As you can see here, finally on March 19th, the three put option contracts that we had sold on February 20th were assigned to us. So we bought 300 shares of Cone at $70 per share. As you can see here, once those shares were assigned to us, that same day after the market opened, we sold to open the May 21st $70 strike price covered call options and received $1.75 per share. The reason why we sold the May options instead of the April is because the May options gave us a better return, especially when you figure the 51 cent dividend that we'd receive if we still own this stock on the X dividend date, which is reflected on the middle line of the blue box here, which was March 25th. Since we own that stock on March 25th, we'll receive that 51 cent per share dividend or $151 for the 300 shares that we own. This is one reason why we like selling put options and dividend paying stocks. Some of the stocks that we have covered call positions in actually pay monthly dividends, like the one I spoke about in last month's video, Realty Income. Cohen, however, pays a quarterly dividend. So it's definitely worth running your return over several month time frames when dealing with covered call options and dividend paying stocks and factor in the dividend you would receive if you owned it during each one of those time periods to see which time period will yield the best return. With the $1.75 per share of covered call option premium and the $0.51 cent per share dividend that we'll receive, that calculates to an 18.7% annualized non-leveraged cash on cash return based on the $70 per share that we paid for the stock. Now, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that we always shoot for at least a 20% annualized non-leveraged cash on cash return. But if a stock is put into our account, we are more than happy to be receiving an 18.7% annualized non-leveraged cash on cash return in a company that I consider to be a very solid data center real estate company like Cone. I wanted to share this position with you because it's a nice reminder of the returns you can get when you trade in solid, stable, what some people may even call boring dividend paying companies like Cyrus One. Also, you can see here by combining the strategies of selling put options, allowing stocks to be put into your account, and then switching over to a covered call strategy, when those two strategies are combined, they can really produce awesome returns for us as option traders. Here you see that although we were assigned these shares at $70 per share, our cost basis is just over 60 per share. And Cone is currently trading at $69.58. That means that we are currently in this stock at a 14% discount from where it's currently trading at. The final trading position I want to share with you is in Cogent Communications, ticker symbol CCOI. Cogent is in the telecommunications services business. Here you see the daily and weekly charts up to the day that we sold those put options in Cogent. We sold put option contracts on March 16th, 17th, and 18th. First, notice here on the left chart, the daily chart, that Cogent had been trading around its green 50 moving average. It was now approaching the red 200 moving average, which we expected to serve as resistance for it. However, if you look down at the volume section in the white box on the daily chart, you see that there had been a lot of buying pressure over the previous two weeks in Cogent. Now, if we shift over to the weekly chart on the right, you see where the yellow arrow is, that's where we sold our put options. Notice how well the red 200 moving average on the weekly chart had been serving as support for Cogent. And it was right around 57 and a half per share. Down in the volume section on the weekly chart, you see that again, there was a lot of good buying pressure in Cogent as well. This made us feel comfortable selling the $60 put options as you can see here on the screen. Over a three day period, we sold five contracts of the April 16th $60 put options. On average, we received $1.55 per share. Well, how did this trade turn out? 
At the base or bottom of the white arrow is where we sold the short puts. And at the very far right, the last candlestick that's red, that's where we bought this position to close it out on March 30th. It cost us just over 18 cents per share, as you can see here. So we were able to put into our pocket $1.37 per share. In all, we were in this trade for 13 days. If you annualize that return, it equates to a 64.1% annualized non-leveraged cash on cash return. If you're curious about the return on margin, as you can see here, the margin requirement was $2,749. So the annualized return on margin is right at 700%. If you'd like to get an alert as soon as we do trades similar to the three that we spoke about in this video, check out the benefits of becoming a patron at the link in the description below. If you'd like to see more details on how we use selling options to generate awesome cash flow every month in our account, similar to how we did in the month of March, check out the video series in the link above in the description below entitled Selling Put Options. Until next time, happy investing and we'll see you again soon.